This is my friend Felipe, and he's going to entertain us today. <laughs> he has an uncanny ability with voices. It like it's both funny and it freaks me out. So I thought, <laughs> you know, uh, instead of my usual videos of me just bitching about being homeless, I'm going to exploit my homeless friend here. <laughs> well, that always makes me feel better. <laughs> So let's see, what should we do first? How about some Morgan Freeman? Some Morgan Freeman? Um, give me a topic for him to discuss. The metaverse. The metaverse? Alright. <clears throat> what would he be saying about the metaverse? Here, let me get closer so I can make sure. Okay, I, I got it. Right. Though it took some time for them to come to a conclusive answer about the so-called metaverse, some were beginning to speculate if their theories were even correct. Others were simply just brushing it off as, oh well, we'll try next time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's do some Family Guy. Um, uh, some Cleveland. Some Cleveland. All right. <clears throat> What should, what should the topic be? <laughs> Ham sandwich. Ham sandwich? Okay. <clears throat> so, I went to a McDonald's the other day. I wanted a ham sandwich. Can you believe they told me? I don't have no ham sandwich. Darn racist sons of bastards. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh, that was and then out of nowhere, we can see Peter's like, get bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Who else? Who else? Um, I oh, you could do Joe, right? Uh, yeah, I could probably say a phrase like, "Hey, Peter." That's about it. But I would have to practice Joe a little more. And then you said you could do a little Chris. Oh well, you know. It's when it comes to doing the Family Guy voices, you have to just realize, who am I? Well, how about with Chris says, yay! <laughs> uh, uh, oh, the perfect guy. That episode. He's like, um, oh, what a beautiful morning. I sure hope these little children don't find something in my pocket. You might just like what you find. Come on, stick your hands inside there, little boy. <laughs> The episode where he's like, oh no! <laughs> right, who else? Who else? Uh, Quagmire. Um, for him, I can only do uh, was a kick, kick, oh god. All right. <laughs> uh, let's do a little future drama, uh, Professor. Yeah, why? <laughs> <laughs> Good news, everyone. <laughs> Oh, the montage I saw on YouTube is like, Good news, everyone. Good news, everyone. Good news, everyone. Bad news, everyone. No news, anyone. Good news, everyone. That was the best montage I've ever seen in my life. What else? What else? Uh, well, you did Roberto. That was funny. Oh, yeah, Roberto. Um, for those of you guys who don't know Roberto, he's a the psychopath robot. He'll, he'll, he'll talk to you like everything's all calm. He's like, oh, sure. I'm not that crazy. I took my medication today. Ha <laughs> He goes to stab you with a knife anyway. He's like, what's the matter? You scared? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I liked when he had a sock and he kept trying to stab people with a sock. <laughs> yeah, man. Dude, that, that, he's like one of my favorite characters. He, even as a psychopath. <laughs> uh, who else can he do? Can you do like Bender or Fry or? No, not too much of those. Uh, normally, when I'm really high, like I just smoke a fat blunt, I tend to be a lot better at some of the things that I do because they seem to want to be involved. Oh, in that. oh, Optimus Prime. Uh, I can try Optimus Prime. I'm still working on it. <coughs> Let's see. How about when he goes, I am Optimus Prime? Um, oh, he's like, oh. It all started with the cube. And then, what else did he say? Oh, Autobots transform and roll out. Is that one? Oh, when I got that raspy voice in the morning, it sounds on point. What else? What else? 
Who else do I know? Oh. <clears throat> All right, so I have this thing where I like to fuck with people when I'm really, 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 really baked out of my mind. Um, initially, um, I'll wear shirts like this. Welcome to America. Now speak English. All the while I'm wearing the t-shirt, I'd like to walk up to people and just be like, um, Permiso, señor. Pero tú no sabes a dónde está el bus terminal. Yo le estaba buscando para hace rato. And they look right at me, and then they look down on my shirt, read it, and then look right back at me with a puzzling look, like, who the fuck is this? Um, like, the guy just found the damn t-shirt. Also, I like to fuck with people even more. Like, I walk up to one person in English, like, standardized English, and then, like, British English or something, for example. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so today, me, my friend Chris here, the one currently holding this camera, can be found Alright, so we decided to come here to the park, initially to lay down, maybe even take a nap. The problem here is, is that there are people who are homeless who are here. There are some sleeping on the grass, some who actually had the audacity to put up a fucking tent here. Right, now the problem with that is, most of them, though are homeless, for some reason feel as if they pay for these lands. Okay, now if I was to walk up to someone and talk to them like this, and say, excuse me, would you like to sell me a cigarette? For example, if it's a Spanish person, they tell me that, you know, you're not the them. At that point, I'll have to talk to them in Spanish, but to maintain character, I'll have to sound like this at the same time. For example, compromiso, señor. Tu crees que tu puedes venderme un cigarrillo por dos pesos? Tengo que fumar, no tener nada por dos días. They're even talking like that mainly. The Spanish people will then break out in laughter like, who the fuck is this guy talking to me in Spanish? Like, we understand him. But we don't understand the dialect in which he's using. And I like to look at them and say, okay, so, my, for example, American Idol, who are you? Uh, my name is uh, Achilles, and uh, I actually moved here from the UK. I once went on a vacation to Puerto Rico and I learned how to speak Spanish fluently. And uh, initially it starts it off with an accent, with me saying, um, Donde es tal carro? Tengo que ir por un sitio, all right? So I went from that to speaking normal Spanish, which is Permiso, por donde está el carro? Tengo que buscarle el carro para ir por un sitio. So you know, people look at me there and say, oh, well, that's fucking amazing. They say, oh, well, what else can you do? I said, I can do an amazing British voice. They say, well, you're already talking your voice. And that's when I say, actually, no, that's another voice that I can do. Which is amazing at one point, because when you talk for so long and then you decide to use a whole other language, it starts warping people's minds, like, they're expecting the next sentence or word to maintain in that language or in that accent, but it just doesn't happen. So, it tends to fuck with some people depending where you are. The best place to use it are places like McDonald's or Burger King, like whenever you want to just try it out, it's fun. Just go somewhere and just say, I would like to have me a full piece of McNugget and a, and, and a Whopper Junior, please. And then when they correct it, it's like, um, the Whopper Junior, that's actually Burger King. And that's, then when you get angry, you want to sound in another language. But what the hell are you saying to me? Burger King? If you get here to buy something to eat? You know, then they look at you like, what the fuck is this? You know, you want, the key is to fuck with them. All the while being totally serious. As if, it, for you as a norm. Or norm, as we say. Not even we. I'm not even them. But I say as if I was them. Now, can't you do, like, Sean Connery? I think I heard you with, like... Who's Sean Connery? Like, uh, he was James Bond for the longest time. Uh, God, what else has Sean Connery been in? Like, the they... one where he's, like, Bones. James Bond. Yeah. Probably. Uh, but you did a br deep British uh, voice accent the other day. A British accent? Yeah. And it sounded like Sean Connery. Oh, the guy from Batman? The, the butler? The one that's like... Oh, that's Michael uh, Caine, but yeah. He goes, if you will. First of all, I'm not sure if what you're doing is, uh, how we say, the right thing. However, I'm not here to judge. No one to make an attempt to you. Sorry, I was distracted. I can see why. Hmm. 
And when you're doing these voices, you'll break character as soon as you see females. So. Ass. Both. It's at this point that I'd like to make a note that I'll remove my hat for time's sake because I, I know this, we're not in whatever time zone. People wear the modernized hats nowadays, but this just says, hey, I've been wearing this before it became a fashion, so fuck you, Congo. Or whatever that kangaroo logo is on one of these fucking hats. This right here is where it's at. Look at it. Look at it with the little. The woman fools it. The, the, the warm fuzzies. It's fucking dark as. The minor set collector. Oh, that lady right there. I'm sick. I'm about to cry right now. Alright.